So we're in a very different world than we were even 10 years ago. Yeah. And um, the talk of um, multi-stakeholder processes, I think, is, um, is taken hold of not only the internet world, but I think the regulatory world itself. And we now have to sort out what that means. What, what is the, the governance? What is the rule of law? There was a good panel yesterday on the rule of law. What, 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 what is the rule of law in this new space? When, of course, the internet itself is a technology that is cross-sectoral, right? It's in every sector. But it raises uh, some points for me yesterday, I think, about uh, the, the, the issues it raises for personal security, privacy, for systems security, for um, the ability to uh, reach far off into places where you couldn't before without this technology for the transformational powers that we've talked about today. So there are many more stakeholders now in a process that um, is no longer linear. Mm -hmm. And part of our challenge then in the policy space is to, um, to very quickly uh, change the way we think and do policy to actually meet the demands of the modern world and of these technologies and of the stakeholders who have high demand for, for infrastructure, for software, for devices, for all of it, for the converged benefit that all of this brings. So what do we do? One, we, we need to talk a lot. And uh, one of the good things about the Internet Society is we talk a lot. We're, we're here to actually discuss how we reach these new governance norms. Number two, I think we try to educate ourselves uh, and each other about how these technologies actually work. I feel like there's a lot of conversation about things that we actually don't understand. Yeah. And, um, it's very useful in my view. I know, again, the Internet Society has done a lot to bring the engineers into the, into the conversation. We talk about the Internet and we actually don't know how it works. We talk about networks and we actually don't know how they work. We talk about software and we don't know how it works. So understanding how the, uh, how the technology works and then how it's accessed by communities and people seems to me important for any government regulator to understand because the world is very different. Once we do that, we have that conversation and we have that learning, then the question becomes, how do we come to agreement about how uh, we're going to uh, conduct ourselves, our own behavior, with respect to the economic issues, with respect to the social issues, with respect to uh, what was formerly called regulation? I like not to call it regulation anymore because I think it's the wrong way to think about things. I do think there is a rule of law, and I think there are policies that um, need to be adopted and, and consensus that need to be reached about how we behave ourselves. Uh, but I think that the notion, uh, the old notion of economic regulation uh, with respect to our networks, with respect to these technologies, is out the window. It doesn't work anymore. It's not, it's not what's going to um, achieve the kind of prosperity we're talking about any place in the world. Uh, that all just presents the question and the problem. It doesn't get to the solution, but I think we're in the midst of trying to figure out what that solution is.